What's up guys, welcome back to yet another review video. So it's been almost 4-5 days OnePlus have rolled out latest build of Oxygen OS C.48 for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. And in this video, we'll do an in-depth review about the same, wherein we'll try to cover things like battery backup, camera performance, bugs and stability, and few more stuff. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus 9 and I've been using this device as my primary phone since this OT update have been released. You guys can take a look at the build number which says C.48. And before even starting the video, let me clear one thing guys. This particular update also have some UI glitches here and there. And I'm the one who always performs a factory reset after every OT update so that I can get a better review for you guys. And now before talking about all the issues what I have found on this build, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. And we still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video so first let's talk about some of the ui issues what I have still encountered on this latest build. And I have taken all the screenshots. And remember one thing guys, these bugs appear occasionally. They are not always present while using the device. And one of them, when I initially installed this update, was related to this Qualcomm voice assistant, which used to appear in the notification. So I tried almost everything updating all the applications, but this thing wasn't going from the notification panel. So I had to completely deactivate the notifications for this particular voice assist. The second issue which I found was related to calling so initially after installing this build when i tried calling 198 or any other number most of the times i used to see this white screen but after reboot this thing got fixed when it comes to ui glitches so we cannot forget the whatsapp issues so most of the times if i'm using the application which is whatsapp itself and if I get any notification, this is how notifications appear when I'm using the WhatsApp application. And this issue have been on Oxygen OS 12 since day one. After that, I have another screenshot where you can see I wasn't able to reply WhatsApp message from the pop-up. But things get sorted out soon. We close all the applications or if we restart the device. So these are some of the temporary issues what I have encountered. And after that on previous build there was another glitch which was related to recents panel. So in some cases if I used to clear the recents any application from the recents page that application soon used to appear in the recents panel once again. But after this update, there are no issues like that. Everything seems to be sorted now. So another issue again related to system UI. Whenever we trigger do not disturb mode. And if this thing is there in your notification panel, if you swipe do not disturb notification bar, that thing again appears after some time. So this is another issue which I have seen on Oxygen OS 12 builds. And I also went through few comments wherein users were complaining that they're getting the entire black screen when they receive WhatsApp call. But here that's not the case. WhatsApp calling seems to be working fine on this latest build of Oxygen OS 12 C.48. Gmail notification issues have almost been taken care of. Till now I don't find any kind of delays in the notifications related to Google applications, specifically Gmail app. I do get on-time notifications whenever I have any mail on Gmail. After that there's another bug and this also I have seen on most of the builds of Oxygen OS 12. So whenever we pause any video, sometimes video automatically resumes. And I seriously don't know the reason behind that. If you guys are aware about it, then do let me know in the comment section below. So these were some of the minor issues or you can say UI glitches what I have seen on my OnePlus 9 after installing this latest update. I can say not after installing this update, but these bugs have always been there on Oxygen OS 12. And now let's talk about the battery backup. So here many users complain about the battery backup. And as I always say, battery backup depends on tons of factors. So every individual will have a different battery backup on the device. So here is the first screen on time wherein I got 3 hours and 29 minutes of screen on time where I did not do any kind of gaming. One application which is draining more battery and that's Google Play services. I tried multiple workarounds but it's still the same. And yes guys, many users have also been complaining about slow charging issues. I personally did not find any kind of issues with the charging speed. You can see I kept my device on charge when the battery percentage was 16% and the timing was 1010. At 1052, after almost 42 minutes, my device was completely charged. This is the second cycle where I got 4 hours and 5 minutes of screen on time and again with normal usage without any kind of gaming. Overnight battery drain was almost 8%. And all these battery backups and overnight battery drain are with always on display turned on. So I personally feel battery backup isn't that great on this latest build of Oxygen OS 12 C.48. But what are your thoughts? Do let me know in the comment section below about the battery backup. 
and now let's move on to the camera part coming to camera samples there are not a lot of difference from c.47 all outdoor shots are sharp with good dynamic range but when it comes to human subject there are some smoothing going on which results in slightly less sharp and less noise in portraits also level of blur and edge are good with less artifacts overall camera is great with accurate colors mostly but sometimes it produces cooler tone in images also in human subjects we can see oppo inspiration here with color os merge the human subjects are slightly boosted and skin is softened a bit one thing we can say the exposure is very well maintained in all the occasions but when it comes to pictures clicked in nightscape mode as with the previous update there are no changes nightscape mode and normal mode looks almost similar it's just that using night mode we get lesser noise but pictures aren't bright compared to normal mode so this thing i have always been saying oneplus needs to improve in the nightscape photography and at last when it comes to gaming part or you can say performance part still oneplus or you can say oxygen os 12 is too pathetic device doesn't even go above 50 fps right now i do lot of gaming i have been playing games on my oneplus 10 pro also but on oneplus 9 oneplus 8 oneplus 10 pro all these devices right now really sucks when it comes to gaming the gaming part is too bad fps doesn't go above 50 fps we do get the option of 90 fps in the gaming itself but oneplus has somehow restricted all this stuff to 60 at least if they have restricted to 60 oneplus should provide us 60 fps constant being such an high end devices but there is no good response from oneplus regarding the same we always get only one message that this thing will be fixed in the future update and we are not sure which future they are talking about so if you are a gamer who do lot of gaming on their devices then i would request you to stay on oxygen os 11 as of now until unless oneplus optimize oxygen os 12 even if you enable high performance mode guys trust me you won't have any better experience when it comes to gaming so guys this was a quick review of oxygen os 12 C.48 for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro, and I don't think OnePlus is gonna sort out things so soon. My recommendation will be stay on Oxygen OS 11 instead of waiting for better builds of Oxygen OS 12. And if I have missed out anything, do let me know in the comment section below. I know most of you guys must have been facing different issues because every update I encounter a new bug on Oxygen OS 12. So here, a great job done by OnePlus when it comes to optimizations on their latest OS. You can say Oxygen OS 12. So guys, as of now, only this much. In this video, I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.